Mount Cook National Park is one of the most spectacular places in New Zealand to visit, and is easily our top place to visit in the South Island during winter. We have some other videos on South Island during winter, which you can go check out in the description box below. But today, we're going to go in more depth about the accommodation we stayed at in our top 3 Wharton National Park. On the way from Wanaka to Mount Cook, it was foggy for literally more than an hour. So we were really worried Mount Cook National Park was going to be like this. However, at the last minute, the fog magically lifted and we got the amazing weather we wanted. We stayed at the Hermitage Hotel and booked them more than 30 days in advance, so we got a 10% discount, which still came to around 270 NZ dollars per person per night for the standard room, including breakfast and dinner. While it was on the expensive side, it was definitely a nice relaxing place to stay with a great view from your room. The buffet breakfast and dinner had many great options. For breakfast, we had hash browns, sausages, mushrooms, scrambled eggs, croissants, sweet pastry, fruit and waffle with ice cream. They also have smoothies in these little cute glass bottles. For dinner, we had salmon, steak, mac and cheese, many assorted seafoods, as well as lots of great dessert options. The menu would also change slightly day to day. Now on to the free day walks. First is the Hooker Valley Track, which is the most popular walk. It is an easy three hour return and involves crossing three swing bridges and Hooker Valley before reaching Hooker Lake. We're doing it! Hooker Valley! Yeah! Hooker Valley can be prone to avalanches, so make sure you check the avalanche risk notice board at the start of the walk before proceeding. We decided to head over a day earlier as the forecast showed 25 millimeters of rain and we were so lucky we did because Hooker Valley Track ended up closing for several weeks due to unsafe swing bridge and soil erosion from all the rain. So it is always a good idea to have a plan B for any activities you really don't want to miss due to weather, especially if you don't live near the area. The first photo spot is Mueller Lake where you can also see the first swing bridge. Soon you will come up to the second swing bridge, which makes a great photo opportunity with the mountains in the background. You will then cross through Hooker Valley, which is also another great photo opportunity like the ones we took. And then you will cross your final swing bridge before reaching Hooker Lake. There are picnic tables at the top, but we recommend going right down to the lake for the best photos and the best lunch view. The second walk is Tasman Glacier. It is a 30 minute easy return to the viewpoint or a 1 hour return walk to the lake and jetty. You can choose to either take the stairs up to the high viewpoint or head down to the jetty where they often have seasonal tours of the glacier lake. We chose both as you can get different views of the lake. The viewpoint gives you a better panorama view of the whole lake and the mountains. The jetty walk lets you get down right to a lake with the floating glaciers for some of those picturesque photos for Instagram and prints. The third walk is Seely Tarns, which is a 2-4 hour return walk of intermediate level. It shares the same track as Mueller Hut and Kia Point for some bits. This is another walk where you have to check the avalanche risk notice board depending on how high you want to go. We also asked the staff at the visitor centre and they said that it was safe enough to walk but advised us to turn back if we don't feel comfortable. Still flat, still flat. <laughs> the first 20 minutes is all flat and wonderful but the rest is all incline and stairs. Walking on a slightly steep incline for about 20 minutes 
and we hit our first set of stairs. Some of these steps are the height of my knees. Look, it's like mid thigh. Oh. oh. It's like climbing a cliff. <laughs> Makes it look so easy. <laughs> Once we got higher, there was some snow on the path. We bought some mini crampons from Mountain Warehouse, which was super useful, but it did get to a point where there was too much snow and we didn't feel safe to go any further, so we sadly never reached the tarns. So always make sure you err on the safe side for these hikes. You can get some amazing views of Mueller Lake, Hooker Lake, and Mount Cook on the way up. We hope you guys have found this video helpful. Please remember to subscribe to support us and stay updated on new video releases. Thank you for watching.